Yummy. I love it. All right. So tonight it's follow the leader. I will follow Jesus. I don't have to make promises to him. I know I will always understand. I don't need to be perfect. I only need to follow him. Jesus loves me. And then the verse is John 13, 36. Where I am going, you cannot follow me now. But you shall follow me afterward. What does it mean? I think I know it's wrong of this, but... No, I... but what do you think it means? Don't you believe it? Really? I'm a pooper. I think oh, it means... Um, what does it mean? To follow me later. Well, it it's saying that we're going to follow him. Do we have to make some great promise to Jesus? To no. Follow? No. We need to... Um, we need to try to follow Jesus, but not. But we don't have to make promises. Nope. And then here's the question: Like, do we always know everything at a time, and do we always understand every detail? No. No. We don't sometimes, need to know what's in our future, what's going to happen up ahead. Yeah. Sometimes we just need to trust Him for that next step, and that's all we know. We take the next step, and then God opens up another door. And that's just, that's the story of my life. That it's like it, the door. Yeah, so we don't whoever know. Whoever enters it, um, whoever enters it, um, that was one of the verses from Christmas. Yeah. He's the, he is the door, and we can enter to, to have relationship with the Father through Him. Okay, so, with that said, who wants to pray that we will always follow Jesus and be obedient even when we don't understand or know the next step. Um, okay, go for it. Jesus, please help us to be obedient and let us follow you even though we don't know what's going to be the next thing up ahead of time. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Happy.